Today our goal is to design analytical epidemiological studies. Remember, last time we talked about descriptive epidemiology. From descriptive epidemiology, scientists have discovered patterns among the people, time, and place of a health-related event. Epidemiologists use descriptive studies to come up with hypotheses about the causes of the health-related event. They can then test those hypotheses in analytical epidemiology. Here, our goal is to explain why a health-related event occurs. Many times it looks at the risk factors, causes, and modes of transmission. There are three main types of analytical studies, cohort studies, case control, and cross-sectional. Today we'll look at each of those and apply them to a situation. In a cohort study, the scientist begins with a group of participants who have been exposed to the factor and a group who have not been exposed. The epidemiologist tracks the participants over a period of time to see if they develop the disease of interest. Many times cohort studies begin with children and will follow them over decades to see if they develop the disease. Case control studies begin at the end. Investigators start by enrolling a group of people with the disease of interest. As a comparison group, the investigator enrolls a group of people without disease. Investigators can then compare previous exposures between the two groups. Here, the investigator is looking back in time to see if people were exposed to the factor they are interested in. Finally, there are cross-sectional studies. Here, a group of participants is enrolled and their exposures and health outcomes are measured at the same time. There are no initial groups in cross-sectional studies. Let's look at a lung cancer study. Let's say we're trying to figure out the association between teenage smoking and lung cancer. We could go about this study in three different ways. In a cohort study, we would have two initial groups, a group of teenagers who smoke daily and a group of teenagers who have never smoked. In our study design, we would follow both groups until they are 75 years old to see who developed lung cancer. We could also do a case control study. Here, we would start with two groups of participants one group who had been diagnosed with lung cancer, and another group who had not been diagnosed with lung cancer. In our study design, we would look back in time by asking participants about their past to see which participants smoke daily as teenagers. Finally, we could do a cross-sectional study. Here, we do not have any initial groups. We take a group of participants and ask them if they'd ever been diagnosed with lung cancer and about their smoking habits as teenagers. Here we're trying to determine exposure and disease at the same time. Remember, analytical epidemiology is trying to explain why health-related events occur. We can do this through cohort, case control, or cross-sectional studies.